Hello guys, welcome to another episode of the UCL Corner. I'm Danny, your host as usual. I'm here with Luis and Jenny one more time. One more time. Guys, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, right? It, it's been, yeah. It's been <laughs> like two weeks, no? Two, two, two weeks more. almost, last yeah. Time, last time you recorded here, I was not yeah, here. Well, uh, oh yeah, almost one month. Yeah. Your loss. Oh. Yeah, 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 my loss. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. now we missed you. We had a lot of Italian football. Uh, going on yeah. last time. Yeah. So we missed you. I know, I know. Also, someone we miss is Greg. He's not here today. He's feeling sick. So, yeah, he might uh, be with us again in the next one. So, yeah. Okay, guys, we have a lot to address. Uh, a lot of things happen during these two weeks. We have a lot of football happening. And today, we're going to focus on the situation of the four teams that are left in the Champions League. So, Real Madrid, Manchester City, and the two rivals, Milan and Inter Milan. How is their situation? How do we foresee their future in the competition? So starting off with Real Madrid. Well, as you might know, Real Madrid was kind of already not really caring about the La Liga title, but I think now, after these two weeks, it's obvious they won't be champion. Barcelona will be the champions, but now they're third in La Liga. Yeah. They lost the second place uh, to Atletico de Madrid, and my question for you guys is: How can this impact on their uh, on their momentum in the UCL? What do you think? Because I, I mean, they have the strongest opponent, maybe Manchester City. I, honestly, I think that this won't impact at all about the Champions League journey. I think they're only focused on the Copa del Rey final that will be played on Saturday, and on the Champions League semi final because they already don't know that they won't win the the league. So I think they they just focused on on this um, these games. They tried to to win the Copa del Rey on Saturday and also to go to go reach the final of the Champions League. So we saw that I guess Real Sociedad on Tuesday, I think, or Tuesday, on, on, yeah, Tuesday. On Tuesday they played with the with the reserves. Of, of, for example, they they played with Mariano starters and he, he never he never plays. I don't think he was a starter in any of La Liga games. Yeah, any. yeah, yeah. At least for the past year, maybe for the past two years, I don't remember <laughs> him being the starter. Really? I I think so because, well, yeah, yeah, it might be wow. because the the last season he had Jovic as a replacement for Benzema. Yeah. So I mean, I I I don't th I don't remember the last time Mariano Mar Mar was a starter. And but he, he was starter against San Sebastián, no? When? But didn't they? Are they playing next week? I, uh, the, didn't they play on uh, Sun? Sunday yeah. against San Sebastian. Against oh. Real Madrid. Against oh. Real Sociedad, you mean? No, the 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 play the play on Saturday and there is the Copa del Rey final. Not this Saturday, the last. No, no, no. they play against Real Sociedad on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, I think, and he was a starter. I mean, when was no, the last time I remember are... Magno Diaz as a starter? No, I think we're talking about. Okay, I need to check. You talk. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm confused. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, he was oh, yeah. also without Vini, who was suspended. Yeah, he was without Camavinga, who was suspended. Ben Benzema was not called up. So Benzema was in the call up, but he got uh, left out in the last minute. So oh, yeah. it might be a strategy for us to spare Benzema for the 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 sequence they have. Yeah, so I think they just don't don't care um, uh, anymore about about the league, and they will just focus on these important games that are, that are left and try to to put the, to put out the best in in these games. I, I think that they will they won't come for the Ray and. We we'll see what happened with the I guess Manchester City. Yeah, I I mean Real Madrid has a really really difficult sequence right now because they have the Copa del Rey final against Osasuna, then they face Manchester City in yeah. the UCL, then uh, I don't remember exactly the sequence, but they have Valencia who is struggling for relegation, so it might be a for sure it's gonna be a tough game because they want they want to stay on the first division. I was yeah. right. What what? That they faced San Sebastian. I thought I was dumb. It's Real Sociedad San Sebastian. It's because it's from Sebast San Sebastian. Ah, for me it's San Sebastian. <laughs> Bro. Okay, so we were talking about the same match. Yeah. The we same had the age. same problem with Lille. You remember with yeah, Kigua when yeah, he was yeah, yeah. shouting at me why I said OSC Los, Lille? Los, oh. Los, Los, <laughs> no, I said OSC Lille. O OSC Not Lille, Los. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we you have confused it. About names. Germans are just confusing. Okay, now we are on the right, on the same track. <laughs> on the same page. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they have a, a really difficult sequence. They will face Atletico Bilbao in the last game of the season in La Liga. So, yeah. I mean, it's a really, 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 really tough 
uh, period of time for Real Madrid. And honestly, I mean, the La Liga titles are already gone. The La Liga seasons are already gone, but they have to secure a spot in the Champions League. So they have to win in La Liga at least a couple but of games. I, I well, think um, more more interesting is would be the fact if they would lose the cup final. I think if they would ooh. lose this one, this would have some kind of impact on the Champions League season. I also would agree to Gianni that I think with Real Madrid right now, they, I mean, they know that they cannot be worse than third. <laughs> it would be weird. <laughs> yeah. When was this the case the last time? That the, they were third. I think was when Atletico Madrid was, was champion. Because it was Atletico Madrid, then Barcelona, then Real Madrid. In yeah. 2017, so yeah, I think. Yeah. 2014, 2014. 14, 14, yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. So it's yeah. been a while. So, uh, yeah, I think if that would be more interesting to see. And I'm not really convinced. They haven't won that cup in a long, long, long time. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, uh, yeah it's... Uh, really interesting if they if they are I mean if you look at the papers and the facts and the stats it's it's clear that Real Madrid will win yeah and but yeah it's yeah, we'll yeah it's, it's weird I think that if Real Madrid will lose the Copa del Rey final I think Angelotti is going to Brazil oh now you have, now, now you, you touched uh, I know my I feelings know. you know like, I know an no, open but, wound but you mean before the season ends no, no, at, the end no the season. at the end of the season yeah I mean it's Ancelotti has always said on the on the press conference that he, he his destiny is already solved, that he wants to stay in Real Madrid until 2024, the summer of 2024, yeah. which is when his contract uh, ends. Yes, yeah. So I think I think it's hard. I think it's difficult. But yeah, I mean, it would be my dream for Ancelotti to be the coach of Real Madrid. But I do think that Ancelotti is a priority for next year. And I will say why. You have Vinicius, Vinicius. You have Rodrigo. You have Camavinga. You have Chouameni. You have Bellingham. They might come from Borussia Dortmund. They're all youngsters, all really young players. And Ancelotti, he's like a big father to them. You know, like a father, yeah, a father, fa a father coach. Father he figure. Yeah, father figure. He protects them. He 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 has the patience to wait for them to develop in their own time. And I think it's really important for players like those that I pulled to have a coach like this to 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 develop, you know, to develop naturally and to have the patience, to have the time to develop. So I think that at least for the last for the next year, Ancelotti might be a really key part on Real Madrid Real Madrid's project. So I think he will stay. I mean, I, I hope because there have been so many rumors in the line the last weeks about, about this. Because one day I read that Ancelotti will for for sure stay another year. The day after I read that Xabi Alonso is coming, so. <laughs> he actually is doing a great job at Leverkusen. An amazing job. Mm -hmm. When he when he was signed as a coach, Leverkusen was really struggling. I think well, they were seventeenth yep. or sixteenth. One against or Bayern, is the former club. <laughs> now they are like sixth in, or fourth. No, they are they are fourth and fourth in Bundesliga. And they yeah. are in the uh, Europa League the, semifinal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah, I think that if Ancelotti doesn't remain Real Madrid's coach, I think they will go or for Xabi Alonso or for Abeloa, who is doing an amazing job in the Juvenila, the under 19s. He was I mean he was he was uh kicked out of the uh, youth youth UEFA Champions yeah. League but by the champions. But as I also think, champions, so. I mean we might lose a bit this conversation here but I think if Xavi would go to Real Madrid I, I cannot I don't see it yet because what I always admired yeah. about Xavi was that he was mentally so strong and he was really thoughtful about his decisions, about yeah, what, yeah, what yeah, he yeah. was doing with his career. And I think it would be way too early yeah, to sure. go from Leverkusen to Madrid, even though he's like such a legend that that's why I think he would still earn respect from the mm -hmm. players. But I think it would be way, way, way too early. And it would be more negative for him than positive. Yeah, for sure. You think it's a too big step. Yeah, and I don't think that he's a guy that would say... If if the chance comes, you have to take it. All right. I think he's he he knows himself and he, he's like really thoughtful. So I don't think that he would take the step. Yeah. But I would love to see it. Like yeah, I, I love him. Amazing. He's amazing. I love him too. Okay, okay. moving on. <laughs> we have Manchester City. I mean, guys, I think the last time we recorded the champ, the this this podcast, champ, Manchester City was second in the Premier League. Yeah. I mean, we were clear that they might come and they might be a, a bother to Arsenal. But we were like, okay, Arsenal is going to be the champion. 
they're going to be champions because they have an amazing squad, they have an amazing momentum. And now, Manchester City is top of the Premier League. I yeah. think that's the reason why Greg is not here today. <laughs> <laughs> that might be. Greg is a huge Arsenal fan. As you, I think you have realized it yet, but he's a huge Arsenal fan. Yeah, he's huge. And we watched the game with him, though. We were watching. Oh, my God, man. Greg, I'm sorry, guy. I mean, that game was really tough for you. <laughs> and now Manchester City stopped, and they, they, they're on their way to be champions. I mean, Holland just broke the, the, the goal scoring record for a single Premier League campaign. 35 yeah. goals in one season. It's amazing. And with 20, 20 matches? So... <laughs> His first season in the Premier League. That's Bro, crazy. He's That's crazy. He's 22. He's younger than me. He's younger, He's younger than you. Than He's younger me. than me. He's younger than all of us. But he looks like 35. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> But so, do you think that Manchester City being first in the Premier League might be a, uh, like a, uh, how do you say, a hype for them to beat Real Madrid? Because, I mean, Real Madrid is. It's the, the team to be beaten in the, in the Champions League. We all know how much we, be, how Real Madrid beaten. works. Bitten or beaten? Be <laughs> <laughs> Manchester City is going to... Real Madrid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, Real Madrid is like the, the, the big monster from the Champions League. Do you think mm. that Manchester City has what it takes to beat them? Yes. Beat, not bite. Beat. Beat. Beat and bite. <laughs> I think they're both. <laughs> yeah, no, I think they will beat them, yes. I think... I don't know why, I just get some kind of flair from the team. I, they just feel like really, really, really happy with themselves. They feel aligned, you know. Yeah. They, they, they seem so comfortable. And I think the only way how Real Madrid is going to go through, even though I think they're big, don't get me wrong, is uh, if they would win the first league, uh, first game, And then Real Madrid would score the first game and the second game. Because then they would start to think again, okay, now they are coming back again. You know what I mean? <laughs> that I think that's like again, a yeah. mental thing that would come back. Mm -hmm. But I just don't... I mean, who am I? But I don't see them. I don't see City losing to Madrid this season. I just yeah. don't see it. I think Greg said it on one of our last podcasts that he sees that this Manchester City team is the most mature of all the previous campaigns so it's the yeah. most ready to win the Champions League yeah yeah, and also now, now they have what they missed in all these years a proper striker true true and a coach that is not always changing everything <laughs> <laughs> do you yeah. think that Manchester City from all the teams in the semi-final the, all the four teams they have the best momentum yeah sure the, okay. great the great great form they uh, definitely uh, but I don't think that This is what counts against Real. You know, your momentum doesn't mean shit. Like, <laughs> you know? That's true. That's and true. Uh, in the end, we're talking about Real Madrid. You just never know. But I think City, City is unstoppable this season. Yeah, they are in a... And I, I think the, the, the biggest thing, the, the biggest uh, card in the sleeve they have is Holland. As you said, the proper striker. The goal scorer, the, the decisive guy... You know, and something that lacked on the last games. I mean, I, I guess from Madrid, Manchester City in the in the previous season, Manchester City had a lot of chances to score, a lot of chances to tie the game, a lot of chances to be build up a margin to to qualify, and they didn't because I think it was lacking this 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 persona that had a decisive vein. You know, mm -hmm. the guy yeah. that you said, mm -hmm. nah, you can you can give this ball, the ball to this guy and he will solve it. Yeah. And now they have Haaland. Yeah. Because De Bruyne is an amazing player, but I don't think he's really a decisive player. When it gets to key moments, you know, he struggles a bit. Ah, oh, controversial mm. here. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, I do see what you're, what you're saying because, I mean, with De Bruyne, they didn't win the UCL now, until yeah. now. But I think De Bruyne was one of the only ones that was very, yeah, was always was always playing pretty, pretty well. And also in the games when they went out. I mean, maybe he's not... I think the difference with Haaland is, or in that case, what you were saying, that scenario, Haaland is really, really loud. And he has a very, very much seen appearance, I would say. 
And with De Bruyne, he's like more the key player for tactics, but he's not, he doesn't, for me, he doesn't seem like the person that would go to you and shout at you if you're playing shit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, for true. me, Haaland is that guy, even though he's so young, he has this mentality and this, this presence and he is good enough to do it. You know, if you're shit, you cannot say anyone yeah. like, what are you doing there? Yeah, you need yeah, to be true. good too. And he can be invisible for the whole game and still score. And be the decisive player, so he only needs three balls to score three goals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you said something interesting. De Bruyne might have been the guy that that played better in that in the Champions League clash for last season, but still they didn't go through. Yeah, yeah. So I do think Roman, uh, the the Bruyne is an amazing player. Yeah, generational talent. Not clutch. I don't think De Bruyne is clutch, and I don't think. Manchester City can rely on him on decisive moments. So you're now, saying Madrid they is going can, through? I think Real Madrid is going through. Mm -hmm. And it's not because I'm a supporter, but I do think Real Madrid is going through because it's Real Madrid. It's Real Madrid in the Champions League. I've, I've been saying it for the last, I think, two or three podcasts. It's Real Madrid and the Champions League. It's a perfect match. Yeah, but, but don't I do you think, think the they Haaland's rely, a biggest threat. Don't you think they rely too much on that? Because from what I'm seeing on the social appearances and stuff, I saw... I saw a funny, or not funny, I saw a picture of Vinny on Twitter, I think, yesterday, and he wrote something in Spanish, and I tried to translate it myself, and he was saying something like, now the nice, decisive weeks are coming up, or the nice, decisive yes, month yes. of oh, the yeah, season yeah, is coming so that, up. It was exactly that, good, good translation. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I'm learning Spanish. Um, but uh, I, was, I was seeing this, and I was, first I was like, yeah, you know, it's like Real Madrid, It's like crunch time. And then I was like, since it's so... I mean, before last season, it was clear that it's the Real Madrid competition. But I think after last season, it's more the fact that you just say, yeah, they're going to go through. No matter who they're facing, they're going to go through no matter what. And sometimes I'm a bit scared that because I'm supporting Real Madrid, I want Real Madrid to go through. I'm scared that they are... Too relying on yeah. that culture. Yeah, and I think... I understand it, Imagine yeah. they would lose the first game in the Bernabeu 1-0. Let's say 1-0, okay? Mm -hmm. Or 2-1, whatever. And then they go to, to Manchester and they'd be like, yeah, it's Madrid, whatever. Yeah. And then they can get, like, so crushed, you know? True. You never know. Yeah. Then, I mean, they have experienced players and, and stuff and they have great mentality and I believe everyone that says I'm going to fight for whatever. But still, I think if it's so present in the media... I don't know if it might make a difference because in the end, City is the underdog, but they are like stats and facts. They are so much better right they now than better, the yeah. They are better. Yeah. So yeah. maybe this also suits City to prove I, a I, point. I, yeah, I think so too. And I think Haaland's the big, biggest threat. I mean, yeah. all, everything that Luisa said, I think it relies on Haaland. How he displays, how he will enter the game. How, you know, I mean, he always he's always focused. Yeah. The the guy's crazy. And he's he's so crazy. hungry. He's, he's so you can see it in his eyes, like it's crazy. He's such a positive psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> but I always thought that If there is such a thing a positive psychopath. <laughs> no, but like it's not in a <laughs> No, you yeah, don't yeah. you get me, no? I understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. But, but it's is. an amazing quote. Yeah, because I yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I, I don't know if you say this in Europe, but in Brazil we say he's a robot. Yeah, no, yeah. he's like a robot. Yeah, he's like a big ass robot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Since we've spoken about Roman Dream Manchester City for 18 minutes, Inter Milan and Milan. <coughs> Should we even talk or let just Jenny? <laughs> It's yours. <Okay>. Open mic. <laughs> but Jenny, I want to start with you by talking about the Serie A. Momentum. I mean, you have Inter in fourth. Yeah, they were almost being left out of the European competitions, but in the past two or three matches, they they regained their confidence and got to beat a couple of teams and got to regain their positions. And Milan is sixth. Yeah, but I mean, probably is one of the best Champions League races we we've ever seen in in the in the last years, probably because if you look at the table. Right now, it's last to second at 64 points. And there is Roma, Roma? No, Atalanta at, at seventh place mm -hmm. at 58 points. So there are like six teams in, in six points. And I think that 
anything can happen. Anything can happen. That's true. Because AC Milan right now they're going to the Conference League, but in the no, end they might they might they might no, go to the if they're six they're going to to the Europa League to Conference League. No, the the, the sevens goes to the the Conference League. No, that can't be true. We we'll do the the VAR check. <laughs> Let's do the VAR check. Let me let me. Think. But yeah, you can go to the because the the, the first four go to the go to the Champions League. Five, five, five and six to, to the Europa League. The no, fifth the goes to Europa League. Only the fifth. Only the fifth. And the sixth go to the to the Conference League. Ooh. Yes. So VAR. <laughs> <laughs> Milan to the Conference League. We should have brought the 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 cards. The cards for FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean they they can go from from UCL semifinalists to Conference League. Yeah, I mean. I don't know what what, what happened to to AC Milan uh, honestly because they they were doing a good job yes. uh, let's mm-hmm. let's say a good job but in in the last weeks they just lost some important points like also yesterday yesterday evening they they drew against Cremonese who was like last uh, last in the league they were playing with with all the uh, the reserves and the gap between the first team and the reserves is, is so huge it's huge it's, it's, it's huge. huge like you 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 can, you can compare. Uh, Giroud with, with Origi or the <laughs> yeah. or, or the Kettler with with Brian Diaz. I mean, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the thirty-five million for the Kettler. What what what, what yeah. were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> he has potential. He has potential. Yeah, but like, like yesterday, he was alone in front of the goalkeeper. He he, he tried to re- to go through the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper blocked the, blocked him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, well, the 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 topic for. For Inter Milan is way different because they were so bad in the last two months in the in the in the league. They they went through against Benfica, and now they would they won their last two two games in a row against Empoli and yesterday against Verona six 0 and also against Juve in the in the Copa Copa d'Italia. The, the, I'm sorry, the, the, sorry the, to bring it up. Sorry to bring yeah. it up. But I mean, it, it's a confidence boost because you yeah, beat your yeah. biggest rivals. So. Yes. So r- right now, if. I mean, if the if the derby in the UCL semifinal will be being played tomorrow, I will say Inter will go through for sure. But I mean, there there there's still one week. Also, there is a very important match day on on this Sunday because there would be Roma against Inter, Atalanta against Juve, and Milan against Lazio. I think mm-hmm. so. It will be also crucial for the for the Champions League spots. What a match day! Yeah, what a match! Yeah, so it will be also crucial for the Champions League spots. Yes, and speaking about Champions League spots, uh, I mean, if if Inter and Milan don't don't end at the first four spots of the of the Serie, they'll be out of the Champions League. The only way they get they go to the next year's Champions League is being champion of this Champions League. Yep. So is it all or nothing for them? Yeah, but I mean, they can dream. <laughs> There's just no yes, way. I mean, that's the I, point. I, I, I'm telling this on camera now. If whoever goes to the fi- I don't even care if it's Inter, Atsid, City, Real, I don't care. If the right side of the tree will be cha- champion, I'm going to buy jerseys for every single one. <laughs> All right. We got to record will, it? No, because this will not happen. This yes, never. I I don't wanna. I don't wanna say anything bad about the Italy Italy league, league whatever. But this is no. There is no possibility that City or Real would lose if they would be so. Yeah, when 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 we were uh recording the 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 draw podcast, that's what we said. I mean, the 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 one from from the from the quarterfinals this side, the one that goes that got through from Real Madrid, Bayern, yeah. Napoli, or no, Napoli or was not in there. Sorry, that's sorry. why That's why we said. The only exception would be, be Napoli. Napoli, yes. And then Napoli was shit. And <laughs> yeah, so um, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's we gotta true. be honest. We gotta that's be true. honest. So yeah, I mean, I mean. So I think for for the like, I think it's going to be very interesting on who will go through from uh, AC and and Inter because that's like for me more interesting now because I'm for me the semis are now way more interesting than the final because I'm so convinced that I. After the semis, we'll know who will win the Champions League. That now it's really Probably. interesting to see on because they faced each other so many times at C and uh, AC and, and Inter in I, this yeah, season. Yeah, it's, the, it's like fifth or yeah, sixth the, time. Six yeah, times. They, 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 they will face six be, times. No, fourth and fifth time. Yes, this will be the fifth. The fifth. And no, in total, the, in total, the they will, no, in total, they will face that six mean, times in the season. I mean, two, two, two in the league. 
One in the Super Cup, two in the Champions League. Yes, true. This is the fourth, and in Togo so it's going to be five. five. Yeah. And it's going to be the, the, the season in, in which they faced each other the most yeah. in yeah. history. Yeah. So it's it's a I mean it's, it's and it a, it's all a comes up to match. this, no? That's yeah. it. So it's a whoever gets match. the last win will will be able to say throughout the whole summer vacation time. <laughs> <laughs> the, during the preseason, I, I cannot wait to see the atmosphere in San Siro. Oh, Who do you support, though, Jenny? No one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like you have to, not support might be the preference, way too big word, but yeah, preference. Milan. Milan. Yeah, okay. I mean the, the rivalry between Juventus and Inter is too, too, big, too, big. too big. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, uh, as we, as we were saying, like fourth you? and sixth. Uh, well, I think the same. Yeah, Milan. I, I'm, I'm. Same. I don't I'm know my... anything about both, but. And also, I, w- I would really like to see uh, Real Madrid and Milan in UCL's final. I mean, the, the the two clubs with most Champions League we played on Angelotti's birthday. True. Back in the old days, also. Yeah. We, Real Madrid Milan are probably the most traditional clubs in the Champions League. If you if you put a third one, it would be Bayern. So Real Madrid, Milan, and Bayern might be the when you think about Champions League, you think about these three these three clubs. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I I would say you think more about Real Madrid and AC Milan. Ah, yeah, sure, it's sure. Too, yeah, sure, I would yeah. I would agree. Maybe also Barcelona, no? Not maybe right now, but if you see Champions League in history, you yeah. would include Barca there. Yes. Also Liverpool. Liverpool, yes, they have five, six. Yeah, but six, for me, yeah, they're six. they're like Bayern, you know. They are there and they won it and they played incredible season. But it's not that. I don't know. It's just I, I, I understand you. Yeah, yeah, but it's not, it's not the first team. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. So guys, yeah, yeah, I mean, we we have to think about priorities here. Uh, do you think that Inter and Milan they should prioritize winning the Champions League to secure a spot in the next year's Champions League? Or they should prioritize doing a good job in Serie A because, I mean, they'll lose in the finals, as Lisa said. And doing a good job in the, in the Serie A might, will uh, guarantee them in a spot in the next championship. No, but I, I think you can't do that. When you're a professional player, you will not be able to... I, th- I, I think... I'm not a professional athlete, <laughs> but I think you are not able to... To prioritize. It's hard. It's hard for sure. But I mean, it's what Jenny said. If they don't play with the first team, the gap is huge. And yeah. you got to have like a good entire squad to face the, the decisive uh, time of the season. And it's got, as Vinny said in this history, we're getting to the decisive, decisive, decisive time of the season. Yeah. Mm. So they have, I, I do think that it's hard to manage being on both competitions at the same time. Also, especially because of Inter, because they they also have the Coppa d'Italia. Yeah, they have, no, maybe the Coppa d'Italia final is like end of May. But still, the Champions League final is in for, in the beginning of June. Tenth. Tenth, Tenth of, of June. June. Yeah. No, so I, the, the, I mean, they they will have they will have to manage the the situation really well, the the squad really well. So do you think they they have to they have what it takes to secure this part in both ways or? I mean, I, I don't think they have like the right team to to win the Champions League. I, I cannot be honest. I think they have only been very lucky to be, uh, with the draw because because I mean, the, there's no point that they're there. Yes, yes, sir. they yeah, got so they, they just been very, very very lucky with the with the draw. Yeah, we, I mean, yes, might be might be that. But when when Inter was going to face Benfica, we all said now Benfica's gonna crush them. So it's it's merits to them, you know. It's a like thumbs up to Inter that beat Benfica, you know. Yes, of course, but you you could have taken, for example, PSG in the draw. Yeah, and and and, and for example, Inter took Porto and then Benfica, Milan took Tottenham and then Napoli. So you say they're both uh, lucky. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's a bold bold question. That's a. <laughs> no, it's true. If, if, if even the, their fans admit it. I wouldn't say easy or something, you know. No, that's, no, no, uh, there are no easy games in the Champions League. I can't yeah. stress no, this more. No, they, oh. are, they are. They are. If you're playing <laughs> Pilsen, it's easy. No, but no, 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 not if I you, think... you uh, play against Maccabi. <laughs> we have a trauma. Bro. Trauma. It's trauma written in his Bro. forehead. Trauma. <laughs> it really is traumatizing, but whatever. Okay. 
Uh, I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> ah, yeah, there are no easy games. No, I think easy might be a might be a word that should not be used in that scenario, but or in that context. But I mean, it's obvious, and everyone who's now looking at the tree back and even after the final will know that it was. Yeah. May maybe let's say easier True. than it could have been. True. You yeah, sure? All right, guys, I think we have our scenario. Let's do the bets, the predictions. Real Madrid, Ooh. Manchester City. Ooh. Mm. First game in the Santiago Bernabeu. I will say... 2-2. Two, 2-2? Two. Two, two? Mm-hmm. 2-1 two, Manchester City. 2-1 two, City? Oh, boy. I mean, my bet is Manchester City to win the Champions League, so... Ah, uh, true, yeah. There is that. I, I lost a bet. Luisa lost this, this 10 points in the in the prediction game. You're losing everything already. Jesus Christ. I think... 2-1 on Real Madrid. I wanted to say that. That's <laughs> you are going to say 2-1 Real Madrid. In Greg's, we will tell you after and on yeah. our socials. Yeah. All right. Inter Milan. Is it first Inter or is it first Milan? No, no, because first, I'm the, confused. The first is Milan. Okay. So then I would say 2-1. Two, 2-1. One, two, one. Milan. Yeah. 2-1 yeah. Milan. Yeah. You? This is the, I think this is the most difficult one. It's so difficult. Because it's almost a neutral, neutral yeah. ground. Yeah. That's you why I'm they, going they for know two one. <laughs> <laughs> you can say, I know they know the stadium. They are used to... no because they both know the stadium. They both play the same yeah. stadium. So yeah, one one. What I I I'm going with the same. Shit. Okay, one one. One one really? No. no. One one. Yeah, I just okay. think one one. I think it's gonna be a draw. I th- I th- I do, and I I already like going toward the next game. I do think extra this leg is gonna be extra time and penalties. <laughs> <laughs> would be amazing. Would be amazing. Would be Imagine one of the best semifinals of my life. And Imagine. it's the best thing if you're like not supporting. Yes. Yeah. Because then it's so fun. Because when you're supporting, it's like sh- no. But but if you're like just a neutral viewer, then it's really it's fun. better. It's better. Yeah. yeah. We did that penalties this season, no? We not no, 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 we even though there's no way go rule. Yeah. It's crazy. No. Crazy. That's crazy. All right, guys, now we have a game time in which consists of lineup predictions. Not lineup predictions, but you have to guess the lineups. Okay. So, I'll say uh, position and the nationality of a certain player of this team, and you guys are going to have to to know the team based on the position and nationality. Oh, so, we have, right? we have to guess the team? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to say, for example... But if I okay, but leave it to me because I'm gonna be so bad at this. <laughs> if I know the name, and I will not be able to do it as fast as Johnny to name the team. No, no, I no. Win. You, you have okay. You, you have you have to you have to shout the team on your turn. So it's not like Gianni said one and you're ah. You go up front in your turn. You have to, to shout the team if you know it. Okay. All right. Okay. So just to make an example, I say ah, this team has a Spanish uh, defensive midfielder. And they don't know. So the next... Liverpool. No, it is it, both City. Man City. Yeah, Man City. <laughs> <laughs> they have a... Does it have to English be the starting winger. lineup? Yeah, it's a ah, starting okay. lineup. Ah, okay. I thought like okay. in general, just a squad. No, 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 no. Okay, the lineups. Because okay. Okay. then okay. it was Thiago for me. Never, <laughs> for those who might not get it. Makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, so, let's go with the first one. <laughs> okay. This team has... But we'll, oh. we'll, we'll start. You, we just shout. Okay. No, no, you can do the rock, paper, scissors. Just see who starts. Come on. Oh, shit. I don't want to start. Rock, paper. Okay, no. That's cool. <laughs> Come on. Sense. Which one? You say rock, paper, scissors. You start. <laughs> Lucy starts. Okay. Okay. But Let's I have go. time to think. You have a bit of time Give to think. Give me a bit yeah. of time. Okay. okay. This team has a French right back. But like, is it the o- is it the only case in that scenario that might this people? 
Yeah, but no, but that doesn't make sense. You have to choose a team. You ah, so team. now I say team, then you go on and say the, the next position. Yeah, yeah, that's it. If you ah, know it, you can, you okay, can like... Okay, now I get it. Okay, you know, okay. right, French, French right, right, back. Def, right back. In the last, in the quarterfinals. Yeah. Uh, uh, I would go... If you don't know, you can pass the time and, and wait for me to say other positions. But it's, is it the first or the second game of the quarterfinals? I don't know. Okay, I will just say... <laughs> no, I'm going to go on. I'm not going to say it. All right. Gianni, mm -hmm. this team has also a French winger. Right Sacco. winger. It's Bayern Munich. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want it to say it because I was like, no, that would be so easy. Yeah, I no, started no, with it, the easy it was Pavard and Coman. Pavard yeah, and Coman, I even saying. know that because in the second... <laughs> I mean, it's, it's your team. <laughs> No, but she knew it. She knew it. Let's go. Yeah. The lineup was Sommer, Bavarn, Upamecano, De Ligt, and Davis. Yeah. Kimmich, Goretzka, Coman, Musiala, Sané, and Gnabry. King. King. Okay. Okay, let's go let's to the go. next Fuck, one. The only one that I could have just tried. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now Johnny starts this one. Okay. Okay. This team has a Brazilian center back. A Brazilian center back. I know it. It can be Real Madrid? No. No? No? no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Who was there? <laughs> okay. Now I have this time. This team has... Uh, 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 how do you say? English uh, center midfield. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Quarterfinals? I have Ida Militao in my mind. <laughs> um, okay, so I need to think about the... So we had City, but City doesn't have... I mean, center midfield. No. Do they have a Brazilian in their team? No, they don't. I mean, not in, in, the, in the center <laughs> I, I like the fact that Luisa thinks out loud, you know, she goes, yeah, she goes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dubai, but then I have the next game. Who played? Who played? Who, Real Madrid played whom? I don't even remember who they <laughs> played against. Was I there? <laughs> was it Liverpool? No. no. It was quarter finals. So Liverpool got out in round of 16. Chelsea! It's Chelsea! That's it! <laughs> You say you want to go and get nothing? Yeah, okay. I, I'm always so shit at 50 50 because it was either Real Madrid <laughs> or Chelsea. So. That's it. Yeah, but at least you knew that it was those two. I, it was in my mind. I had everyone. All right. Next one. Yeah. This team has a Brazilian right back. But Luisa starts, you know. Luisa starts, yeah. <laughs> Brazilian right back. Right back. Oh. Am I lost or is it City? No. Okay, then I'm Not lost. City. Gianni. Argentinian center back. Argentinian center back and Brazilian right back. Ooh. Argentinian oh. center back. Why do you think? You can have a moment to think. The Chelsea lineup, I forgot. It was Kepa, Xalobá, Thiago Silva, the Brazilian center back, and Fofana, James, Fernandes, Kovacic, and Cucurella, Kante, Gallagher, and Havertz up front. So, yeah. So... You have a Brazilian right back and an Argentinian center back. Argentinian center back. So Inter is not. Milan is not. Napoli is not. Chelsea is already done. Bayern Munich is already done. Real Madrid is not. Benfica. Oh man, he got it. He got this one. In this <laughs> way, I would have also guessed it. <laughs> it's easier. You want to go by elimination, <laughs> you know. But okay, you got two points. You won. I'll I'll make a different game next time. Alright? We, you know, we won't which, have lineups. No, I would have loved to see this game with yeah. us with you you two and Gregoire. Yeah, that would be And me doing the game. We will okay, do this next, next time, week. Okay, next yeah. time. When Greg, when Greg is back, then we'll do it for yeah. you three and I prepare the game. Okay. And then I'm gonna be taking the group stages. <laughs> so there's everyone. <laughs> They'll have Victoria Pilsen. They'll have Kulbrugge. Bruche. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys, it was a pleasure being here with you one more time. Fun. I was missing yeah, doing same. this. Same. And that's it. See you next week. See you. Bye. See you bye, next bye. Week.